The sides had played out a one-all draw in the league the previous week. Which one of them would claim the bragging rights this time? Daniel Cairns' last game for the Lily Whites. Here's Eamon Donoghue once more. It didn't take long for this one to spark into life. Denny Corcoran forcing Peter Cherry into action in the fourth minute. The corner taken quickly, a little too quickly for an uncertain Dundalk defence. And Dave Rogers on hand to score. Appropriate on a week of European adventure that he would find the net. He was, after all, the Pat Sullivan of his day. Ian Foster admitted his side were rattled by Drogheda's whirlwind start and it showed as the home side pressed for more. Mark O'Brien posing a threat. Birthday boy Daniel Kearns wanted to end his Dundalk career in style. He found Mark Quigley. A let off for Robert Duggan, back with the club after leaving for England in March. Ex Drogheda player and local boy Ross Gaynor was keen to show his worth. Not a moment for Duggan to save her. Quigley knew what a good chance that was. United regrouped in a cracking first half of action, and Corcoran almost doubled their lead. As did Brian Gannon. A further let off for the visitors. All this before the game's big turning point. Griffin away. Stephen Quigley with the foul and a straight red. Penalty, according to referee Damien Hancock. Quigley was adamant that no contact was made. Hard to say for sure, but any incident did happen outside the box. Mark Quigley stepped up to make it 1-0. If the first half was action-packed, the second was flat as Dundalk failed to capitalise on the extra man. Karen McHugh's effort the best they could manage won all the final score. The replay in Oriel tomorrow. Dundalk know improvements will be needed. Obviously, uh, last week was a poor performance up in Richmond Park against St. Pat's. And I think that we all knew that everybody played poorly. And the lads are doing themselves tonight. Training was very good during the week. I don't think we matched them for intensity and work rate, and that's disappointing because normally my players give it everything they've gotten uh, for long periods of the game. Tonight we didn't. Um, so hopefully Tuesday night we can play in the front foot a lot more, pressure them all over the pitch when we haven't got it and have a little bit more quality when we do.